Okay, so for some reason, my mic muted itself. So I have to do this whole take again. Uh, so for you, you know, you never saw the first part because I never uploaded it. But uh, welcome to the channel again. I'm Ominous and today I wanted to discuss a topic about a very controversial genre. Like you either love it or hate it. That's why I call it controversial. It's kind of black and white. I still don't know why my mic muted itself, but I couldn't figure it out and just ended the recording. Uh, but that's not a problem anymore. So, um, well, I have to recite like seven minutes of uh, text again. So that's kind of annoying. But, um, but you know, my general opinion on the K-pop thing was that um, that I didn't really like it, and the K-pop stands kind of turned me off. Like I saw them, and I was like. Like, I don't want anything to do with the genre because the, the fans are alienating as fuck. Like, if you hate it, they will cancel you. And if you don't like it enough, they will probably go at you at your throat until you will love it, you know? So, the, my cat made a really weird noise, what the fuck? Um, but that was kind of my general opinion on K-pop, that the fans were just alienating as fuck and that it just kind of turned me off of the whole genre. But then I looked on Rage Music and, you know, more where the sensible people are, in my opinion. You know, they see more, like, just, like, more general in it. Like, they just like a song here and there, like I do. So, I'm definitely with the Rage Music crowd, hence why I'm on it, like, 24-7. Um, but, you know, we will say that, you know, a song is good here and there. Some songs can be generic. And other songs can be really good, like really memorable, catchy, nicely sung pop songs, you know. And I don't really get the point in hating all K-pop because, you know, at the end of the day, it's just pop music just sang in Korean. Like, why would you hate on, on that? I don't get that. But, you know, some pe like most people hate it because, like, the, the stance, you know, but that's not a, a legitimate reason to hate it, you know. Like, for example, there are a lot of, like, narrow-minded, toxic metalheads that I wouldn't want to discuss uh, anything with because they are the worst, you know? Just really annoying scumbags, which I don't want anything to do with. So, I don't go into them, you know? I don't go into those topics, but... Um, so, that's kind of the, the same reason here, you know? Like... Uh, or, you know, metalheads will say, oh, this is trash because it's modern pop, you know, but not all modern pop is trash. Like, uh, for example, I had like um, this one like modern pop song, which was a J-pop single. It was kind of house influenced. And uh, she's called Mondo Grosso. I, I, I forgot the, the title of her song, but uh, that's her name, Mondo Grosso, if you want to look it up. Um, I listened to it and I love the production, I love the, the team, I love the atmosphere and her voice is amazing, she has an amazing voice and I think that song came out like I think five years ago, maybe maybe sooner, maybe later but it's around the, the 2010s, right, so I would say it's relatively modern and I love that song, it's one of my fa all time favorite songs now. Like, I think it's such an amazing song. Like, look it up, Mondo Grosso, and you will probably find it. Just like a, a red and white outfit with a blue backdrop. It's it's an amazing song. Her voice and the atmosphere is just fucking gorgeous. Um, and that's not a K-pop song. That's, that's a J-pop song. And I, at the end of the day, I do prefer J-pop. I think it sounds a bit prettier. And I think, you know, overall, you know, most anime teams are J-pop, you know, obviously. Uh, so I tend to prefer those, but I still think there's like good K-pop out there. Like I have six K-pop songs on my list right now, on my playlist. Uh, and they're all from this band, Luna. And like usually I have like a limit with how many songs I include from one artist. Like my limit is three so that the whole, so that my playlist doesn't over flood with one artist, you know. So I have like um, a limit of three. Uh, but with Luna, I have six because I have three of like this group like the like more of the like uh the, like the group as a whole but there's also this other group called luna odd eye circle which is um three of the members of this group which it, I, th I think there are nine members of this group so a third of them are in luna odd eye circle and they have an album called mix and match which was which was an ep which later got expanded into a album which is called max and match you know 
obvious name is obvious, but I listened to that album. It's like uh k-pop infused with electro pop with dance pop with i think some future bass as well which is a sound i do like and i fucking love that album i think it is an amazing pop album it's one of my favorites of this decade for sure or of last decade um and i just discovered it like last week i listened to it and i just fell in love with that sound i just think it's an amazing album i think that uh lunatic is a great pop song and especially the song Girl fr- girlfriend is oh my god that song is god here uh, my computer fell out uh, but that song is god here i don't give a fuck what you say that song is amazing um i'll probably link some of my favorite luna songs in the description but um i'll go into into depth if my mic doesn't is is not muting itself again uh there was a guy rating the luna songs which i don't fully agree on but you know the most of the topics are some of the best luna songs and some of the best k songs in general so um i will click on all these because it will just give you like the best of the best singles compilation whatever so i'll uh rate some of these or i'll just give my general opinion on them i'm just testing if my audio still works yes it does man it's annoying when your own program mute you like do you want me to show up? I, I don't get it. But um, yeah, I don't know this. This looks chill, you know. This looks like some. Well, I don't know. It looks looks a bit uh, indie. I don't know, but might be cool. Synwave. That's the side. Haven't heard of Shine. I think Shine is. Well, they look similar to BTS, like uh, short haircuts. They all look like each other. So BTS, right? And I'm not a huge fan of BTS. I mainly like. Um, not sure if I said this in the last recording, but I prefer female vocals over male vocals. Or I'm not sure if I said it in this recording yet. I did in the last one, though. Uh, that's where I said that I tend to prefer female vocals because they have a more... Um, like, how would you say it? They they have a more, like, intimate and more, like, sensual... Uh, a more elegant uh, emotion to them. They have a more elegant sound to them, which I do prefer in my in my music you know mainly pop music but sometimes um i do like a metal growl as well in metal you know yeah metal in music but it's a bit more rare for me to like those uh but you know mainly if a uh a female sings a pop song i'm generally you know good with it i either like it or love it uh with male vocals i tend to be a bit more picky like um, I do love a, a, a voice like Nick Drake. I do like a Scott Walker, you know, people that sing really like gracefully and really like elegant as well. Just really nicely soulful singers, I think. Those two, really nice, two of the best in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I tend to be a bit more picky with men and, you know, I nearly don't like every female vocalist as well. You know, for example, obviously <laughs> I'm not a fan of Yoko Ono because obvious and... I was never really a fan of like growly singers. Like, um, I'm not sure if growly is the right word. Well, not growly. Uh, no, not growly. Uh, raspy. I'm not a huge fan of the raspy voice of the raspy uh, vocalist, you know, with guys as well, but mainly, um, well, yeah, just in general, you know. Be, uh, for example, I don't, I'm not a huge Janice Joplin fan because she has these really like overtone notes that I don't really like. But um, I'm going off topic. Like, I just discussed this for, like, two minutes. Um, but, yeah. This is the album of the whole group, which I th- think is decent. But they definitely have better. Like, that Max and Match album is so good. That's probably the best K-pop album ever. I mean, it's on top of this chart, though. Spoiler. But uh, Yukika, I think uh, it's a bit more general. It's a bit more traditional pop. So, if you really hate, like, modern-sounding K-pop, then I think that Yukika is probably the best that you can do. And I think that she was on top of the chart for a while. So, you know, if you uh, do, like, more traditional pop, then I should say check out Yukika. She's a bit too, like, straightforward for me, but I still I, I still think she's good, though. She's still a good singer, so... Uh, this is one of the Luna singles. Uh, I think it's great. It's Future Bass and Electro Pop. Um... It's not my favorite Luna song, but, you know, Luna is my favorite group out of the K-pop, uh, out of this whole K-pop thing. So, uh, but while Luna is the reason I want to make this video, so that, that's why. And my, and my friends, like, 
uh, giving me backlash for liking only one K-pop group. Like they, like they treat me like I'm a K-pop stan. Like bitch, I just like one group. Like calm down, you know. So uh, that's why I want to make the video. So um, Shine, still don't know them. Wonder Girls, I think I've listened to like some of these other girl groups, but they didn't really do a lot for me. Like they, they sounded too minimal for me. Uh, Sun Me, don't know either, but. I don't know, it looks kind of like Mitski or something, like Mitski inspires, or, well, maybe the other way around, but this is more modern. Uh, Twice, I don't know either. BTS, of course, not a huge fan of them. I, th I think that BTS is kind of like the Korean One Direction, like, um, they're really overhated, like, you either love or hate them. And I'm just kind of like, well, they make just pretty bland pop music, like, why is everyone so ex uh, uh, obsessed with this, you know? Uh, I'm not even a BTS hater. I just think that their fans need to calm the fuck down. That's that's kind of it, honestly. Because their fans on Twitter are, like, the worst ever, so. You know, that's probably going to be the title of this video. Like, why Luna is a good group, despite K-pop stands still being the worst. You know, something like that. Uh, so, that, there's that. Um, Chung Ha. Dance pop, K-pop, electro pop. This sounds interesting, though. Um, hmm. Like, I do like the electropop sound together with dance and K-pop with house, with house influence, which sounds pretty good. Uh, she has kind of an edgy look to her well, you know, because of the um, lip piercing, but the lip piercing um, might be good. People s seem to like it. Some seem to be mad about it. Uh, mm, I'm going to save this. I'm going to save this one. I haven't, I haven't checked out everything, but I've checked out Luna. Um, okay, so I saved that. Yukika. Might check, well, might check out more of her stuff, but the stuff that I have heard of her, you know, I'm kind of okay with. It's okay. And, uh, you know, that's what most K-pop is to me. It's just okay to me. It's, it's not like awful music or anything. I don't think that's like anything I've heard in K-pop is awful. Like, I'm not a huge BTS or Blackpink fan, but uh, most of the other stuff, like Yukika and Luna, I think is actually quite good. But people just don't give it a chance because the K-pop stands are so garbage, you know? But that doesn't mean that the whole genre is bad, you know? Brave, Gr Brave Girls looks a bit more R&B infused, which it is with Trap. I think that Trap is kind of an awkward thing for K-pop to have, which, you know... Luna has a song uh, which is Trap infused as well, which is called Cho Ari, I think, or Chori, ch maybe you just said cherry, I don't know. Um, which is kind of weird. That's kind of a weird song, but I still think it's good though. It's still coming up, I think. Don't know Brave Girls. Stellar, uh, I think I've heard a bit of this. Didn't really do a lot for me. Uh, FX, <laughs> I think that's a punk group or a punk band. Um, Hip House, Electro House, Two Step. Uh, this sounds pretty interesting as well. Female vocals, Urban, Longing. Passionate, sensual, law of melodic, urban. This sounds pretty good, so I'm gonna save this as well. Uh, I tend to like the the more electro pop kind of song, you know, with K-pop, future house, and electro house, hip house. Sounds pretty good. Like it reminds me of that uh, Mondo Grosso single, which I fucking adore. Like anything that sounds like that song, like give it to me, please. So this might be something for me. Walls, cowboy, four walls and cowboy. Uh, Yukika. Yeah, she has a bit of simp pop in here, so I might like this one a bit more. I might add Yukika to my playlist, but it's mainly Lu Luna for me now. Well, this I think this is the first Luna single, yeah. Cho Airy, like I talked about. Like, I think that the dance pop is nice, and the future bass is synth pop, of course. Electric pop is all great. But the trap EDM beat is a bit awkward, I think. It's a bit, um, I don't know. Like, it's, it's a fine pop song, and the trap EDM sound sounds a bit like your dad barging in and trying to be hip with you as well. That, that's how it sounds to me. It's 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 kind of old. It's kind of weird. But besides that, I think it's a good song. Now I would give it high tier. I think it's a pretty good song. Uh, Yubin, don't know. Stacy. Yeah, I think I heard a bit of this and it didn't really do a lot for me. Like, I, I saw Dance Floor Drum and Bass. I was like, holy shit, this is probably awesome. Listened to it and I was kind of like, eh, it's, it's okay, it's fine. It's probably mid tier for me. Yukika, uh, I might I might add some Yukika because she does seem to be well regarded and she does seem to be a good artist, you know. Uh, she seemed to be genuine, so I might give her a chance. Um, Goblin, ambient pop, art pop. This is probably too minimal for me, I don't know. Wonder Girls, um, 
pop reggae. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. Mix and match is this like the original, uh, the the mix and match, but the first edition. Um, this is like a great EP. I love this EP. This is basically just um, the demo version of Max and Match, which is the best K-pop release. So, all is a good opening. Girlfriend is fucking god here. I don't give a fuck who you are. Girlfriend is an amazing song. Flawless K-pop masterpiece. Lunatic is pretty good as well. Lunatic seems to be the more like uh, the more general favorite, but Girlfriend is so much better. And Girlfriend is the best thing a k-pop ever released like uh, st- l- let alone luna you know it's the best luna song and it's the best k-pop song ever made girl from the so fucking good chaotic uh chaotic and starlight are pretty good as well but the first two singles are fucking god here it's so good um dean i don't know it's a guy yeah it's a guy like this is like dominated by females like i just noticed but yeah like people i, I think reggie music kind of agrees with me like i do tend to prefer female vocals in a pop song or just kind of in general, I think. Um, well, in rock, you know, rock is kind of either way. Like, I don't mind if it's a guy or a girl. But in pop songs, I do tend to prefer females. So, uh, call it what you want. I just call it uh, preferred taste. Red Velvet, um, Future House, UK Funky, Bass House. Sounds good. Might check it out. Yeah, I'm going to say that as well. Anything with electro pop or with house is probably up my alley. Um, I don't know what this is. The Seven Sense, Mill Vocals, Trap. Uh, trap just doesn't really work with Scape Up, I think. It sounds a bit, it sounds forced, you know. It just sounds a bit forced, I think. Like House and Electropop is way more, just sounds way more up uh, K pop's alley, you know. Um, mi- yeah, I checked this one out. I thought oh, it's artsy, it's um, funk, you know. And I checked out Sophisti Pop recently. I checked out Suede, like that live album, and it's fucking great. Check that out. Like, that's not uh, relevant to this video, but check out, like, that uh, Suede Lover's live album. It's fucking amazing. It's so good. Um, Girls' Generation. Uh, this was, like, really popping, I think. This was, uh, this was like, really hot uh, in some areas. It's bit pop, though. It's, like, kind of video game inspired. Yeah, I'll save this one as well. It sounds pretty interesting to me. Uh, okay, this is where the m- first unpopular opinion comes from me. Since I did check out this song, Kim Le- Like, I checked out most of Luna stuff because I I do... I am a Luna fan. I tend to like this group because they have... They just have that sound, you know? J- they just have that electro, synth pop, future bass K-pop sound, which I think is the perfect sound for the genre. And Luna has that um, on hold, you know? They are the kings of... They, they are... They are kings of K-pop, like queens or kings of K-pop. So I checked out Kim Lip, and Kim Lip is like, like people fucking love this song, or they're they're just like, meh, it's generic. And I think, I tend to fall more on the latter side, where I think that it's a good pop song. But but some people, like some people on YouTube were like, this is the song of the century. And I'm like, um, no. Um, this decade, you know, this is the same decade where um, Run Away With Me by Carly Rae Jepsen came out. So, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, so I don't agree with that, but I do think that this is definitely a great K-pop song. Like, I would give it high tier, but I think that the beat is a bit too generic to give it higher than that. I still like the song, though. I still think that uh, Kim Lip has a good voice, you know. I think the song is called Twilight. I still think it's a good pop song, but I don't think it's the best of Luna's discography. I think it's like the fourth best single they have, uh, which is like it's more. It's also accurate to the ratings because it's the f- uh, fourth highest rating single from them. Um, yeah, I'll go on a bit further. Um, Shine, don't know. Yeah, this this is my favorite Luna song, Olivia High. I think that the uh, the pre-chorus is really like atmospheric. It has a great uh, atmosphere to it. The vibe is great. Uh, her voice, lovely as well, gorgeous vocals. Uh, the chorus is a bit like, it's either love or hate, but I love the chorus. I think that the chorus is amazing. It, it uh, perfectly complements her voice. I think when like that whole breakdown comes down and the song gets kind of glitchy and a rap verse comes in, that is a bit awkward. That's the only thing that kind of holds it back. Uh, but besides that, I think it is the perfect Luna song. I think that... The pre-course is great, great atmosphere, the course is catchy as hell, the hooks are great, um, the bridge is amazing as well, just like you're ascending or some shit. Um, also, the single art is probably my favorite as well. Or, well, 
I think I prefer, yeah, I think I slightly prefer Olivia High, but the colors in this one are amazing as well. And also the video is fucking great. Lo this video is god there. This video is probably also like top or god. Uh, but I'm rating the songs, you know, so electro pop, dance pop, future bass, like this is the sound I want in my K-pop. This is just a perfect song to me. Uh, Chu, I think is good as well. I would give Chu probably a higher top tier. It's on, like these three songs are on my playlist right now. Ives, Chu and Olivia High. Olivia High is definitely my favorite. This is the God tier song. I would give this one the high tier because I do like it. It's a bit too a beat for me, but this song always uh, uh, gets me in a good mood, you know, when I hear Chu... I always get happy. I always get like, wow, these girls are really fucking happy. And it is kind of infectious because <laughs> I tend to get happy as well when I hear Chu. So, um, yeah, you know, Chu, she seems like the most like joyful girl in the group. So uh, that's good. Olivia High seems, she, uh, seems to be a bit more of the serious one, which is, of course, my preference. But Chu always like makes me smile when I hear it. So that's always a good thing. And I've just kind of like... Like, Ives is the... Uh, she's kind of too boringly perfect, I think. And that's not an insult to her. That's not an insult to her because this is arguably a perfect pop song. And this is the song I showcased to, like, my people in the server. And they all hated it. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? This is, like, a fucking great pop song. Like, fuck off. Like, this is this is definitely the, the highest rated K-pop song while out of the group, you know? Um, you know, then you have... Max and Match, which is the highest rated K-pop album, which is also of Luna, but just like a side project. But just, yeah, I think it's better than the group itself, you know? I think that the side project is better than anything Luna has ever done. Which is not an insult on them, because I still I still really like Luna, but Luna Old Eye Circle is like on another level. Like, um, yeah, the, the, the number one, the highest rated K-pop related thing is Lunatic, which I think is a top tier song. But like I said in that EP, like you have uh, Sweet Crazy Love, which I think is an amazing song. And Cover is good. Girlfriend, like I said, God tier song. Best K-pop song ever made. Like you can say anything about K-pop that you want. Like I am not, like like I showcase here, I'm not the biggest fan of K-pop. Like most of just doesn't really interest me because it just sounds like bland pop music. But the Girlfriend is so fucking good. Like I'm going to link you this. Like uh, I'm, I will link Girlfriend um olivia high which is my favorite song of the whole group um and lunatic i will link lunatic as well so or maybe sweet crazy love i think i prefer that one but i will do lunatic because it's more of the general favorite so you, like more people tend to like that one sweet, sweet crazy love is more of my personal favorite I'll, i will link lunatic because like more people like more people in general seem to like lunatic but girlfriend for me just ticks on all the boxes like Music video looks amazing. The pre-chorus, really, really great vibes. The voice, amazing. Hook, fucking stellar. So, everything about Girlfriend is just so fucking good. This album is only 25 minutes, so it's like a quick listen to me. But I enjoyed every second of this album. It's it's fucking great. I gave it a four and a half. That's, in my book, that's great. K-pop, dance pop, future bass, electro pop, synth pop, contemporary R&B. This is pretty much the perfect sound for K-pop. Like all these genres are perfect, except maybe for R&B. But even even that, they managed to do so well in this project. So, like, fuck anyone who says that K-pop is trash. Max and Match is a fucking great pop album, and I don't give a fuck what anyone says. So that's the video. I just wanted to kind of express my opinions on the whole K-pop situation because, like. You either seem to love or hate it. And I, I think it is a good... Well, I, I, I'm kind of mixed on the genre. I think that, you know, there's some good stuff out there. And there's some, like, really, like, generic shit out there. I don't think that anything is outright bad, you know. I even think that BTS is kind of okay. But I wouldn't, like, pull my hair out when I see them. But I am a Luna fan because these girls are just really talented. They have great voices. Their production rules... Their hooks are great. They actually have hooks. So, yeah, you know, check like literally the whole, almost the whole top ten is Luna related. So that's just that just goes to show that Luna is just they are just the queens of this genre of the K-pop genre. And this came out like four years ago, but I should I should have been on this like way before this. But yeah, you know, the K-pop stand just kind of turned me off. That was the reason that I didn't uh, get on this sooner. But 
Um, but yeah, you know, check out check out Max and Match. I think it is a fantastic uh, K-pop album. I'm probably going gonna share this in my Discord in my like vid section, um, and I will probably get slammed for it. But I don't give a fuck. I love this album. I think that Luna is a fantastic pop band, a, a fantastic pop group. You know, like uh, screw the Spice Girls. Like Luna is like infinitely better, obviously to me at least. But that was the video. Um, be more like like more general with it like don't hate on it just because the fans are trash like most fan bases are fucking garbage anyway so be more like general with it you know i'm not saying like i'm the perfect role model but i'm but, but i'm saying that be more general with it be more sensible like don't hate on it just because of the fans and don't be a stand about anything because that just makes you look stupid you know just be more like general just be like you know luna is good uh yukika is decent you know uh there's some other stuff that i that i think is good you know but luna is mainly the group that is really good to me like uh chu ives olivia high and fucking girlfriend are so fucking amazing i love those songs man so um check out those songs i'll probably link them in the description uh you can join my uh, discord my i think my discord is ominous dawn at 6957 and i didn't make up the 69 because i don't have nitro only then you can change it so i got 69 the natural way <laughs> not sure if natural was the right the right word for that uh, I, well i got it by coincidence but 69 hell yeah um 6957 so if you want to chat with me about this or any other rage music kind of stuff then I'm down for it. Um, yeah, that was kind of my opinion on this. Check out Luna. They are a fantastic pop group. Um, I love Max and, I love this album, Max and Magic. So, it's so good. L Luna, Old Eye Circle, to be specific. The group Luna, in uh, like overall, like the Luna as a whole, like the whole group, I think it's still good though, but uh, Luna, Old Eye Circle is definitely the best thing in K-pop um, released yet, you know, so... Maybe something even better will come out. But as far as K-pop goes now, I think that Luna Old Eye Circle, they are the queens of the genre. So check them out. If you like it, then you can check out more K-pop. And if you hate it, then, you know, don't listen to it. And, you know, don't don't go hating on it because, you know, it's, it's just pop music at the end of the day. Like, I love this kind of music, but... Um, or I love... Uh, I love this group specifically. Like I don't like like I said, I don't I'm not really in love with K-pop, but uh, I love this project. I think this project is great. So you know, some people call me a stan already or think that I, I lost my mind because I like one K-pop group. Like those people, like calm the fuck down. I just like one group. Like I'm not you know suddenly a BTS stan or something. Like calm down. So uh check this out if you haven't already. Um I love it, I love the sounds. Um girlfriend got their song check it out I'll, I'll probably link it in the description i'm rambling now um i just want to express this because a lot of people seem to i don't know give me shit for it and you know it's an interesting topic, topic to talk about because you know it's really a black or white either love it or hate it kind of thing so i like to i tend to discuss those topics because they're controversial and they're interesting to talk about so that's why i wanted to discuss this well uh, i've been ominous check out luna the great um yeah you know if you want to see more like discussions like this i'll do it if you want to see more like like uh song streams where I, I rate random songs you can request it as well i'm pretty sure that everyone in my fan base hates k-pop but check, check out luna luna is great like i don't give a fuck who you are girlfriend is fucking amazing um so yeah that's the video um let me know if you want to see more discuss videos like this. Not not necessarily capable, but just anything music related. I'll probably do it if it interests me. So um yeah. Think about a topic suggested to me. Join my Discord, Omen is Dawn 6957. If you want to discuss music related topics with me. And yeah, that's it. That was my uh my discussion, my my topic for today. What the fuck is this? Fuck off weather. Peace.